Dragon's Lair. It was March in 1983 when the first Laserdisc game, Astron Belt, premiered in arcades across Japan. It was designed by Sega, and the gameplay was a third-person space combat rail shooter featuring live-action full-motion video footage. It was an instant hit across Japan. It wasn't until June of 1983 when Laserdisc games became popular in the United States with the release of Dragon's Lair. This game stood out because it contained high quality and it made it scenes throughout the game. In fact, I still remember how much all my high school buddies were talking about this game when it first came out. They kept telling me, you've got to see this. It's like playing a cartoon. It was later that summer when I finally saw the game in an arcade. Simply put, I was blown away by the graphics and animation. At the time, it seemed like everything else paled in comparison. Due to the overwhelming success of Dragon's Lair, other Laserdisc games quickly followed, including Space Ace, Dragon's Lair 2, Mach 3, Interstellar, Cliffhanger, Super Don Quixote, and several more. The good news is that you can relive many of these Laserdisc games through an emulator named Daphne. It is included in Batocera. In this tutorial, I will show you how to easily set everything up. Soon, you will be able to relive these arcade classics from the fabulous 80s. Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Batista Nation. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk about today Laserdisc games with Daphne being the principal uh, emulator. Uh, let me tell you, this was a bit of a challenge for me, but don't worry, I got everything up and running. I'm going to make it really easy for you to follow uh, and get you up and running in no time. Alright, so first thing we need uh, is to go to the wiki page for Batista. Okay, uh, and this is what really proved to be useful for me. This information right here. If it wasn't for this, I would have never figured it out. Okay, so one of the first things that tells you that the game or the laser disc games have to have an ending of Daphne dot Daphne, and the ROM files have to have a zip file. So there's two types of files. They are these ROM files, which are really small files, and then they have these laser disc images, which are the big files, uh, and those have to be Daphne. Okay. I went to Internet Archive, and it turns out. I was not able to locate the games. In fact, I had a hard time trying to find them. The only thing I found was this, okay? Uh, and don't be confused by this because it turns out, if I go over here, and uh, you can see the Daphne emulator, which runs in Windows. Um, if I go into here, and I go into ROMs, the only thing you have are the actual ROM images. But you can see those images are not big, okay? They're not large at all. And you need those, right? Uh, but you also need the laser disc images as well. And again, those are really big files. So this is not complete, not by any means. So after a lot of searching, I came across this site. That's what everyone was pointing to. Uh, and it turns out uh, this site has a, a bunch of games in here, okay? For the European viewers, or those outside the United States, these links may work. I can't test them out because they don't work for the US residents, okay? But they may work for the European residents. Okay, so if you keep scrolling, you will come across right here non digital leisure games. Okay, all these games right here. Okay, you click on this, it's a Mega Drive file. Okay, you got this set, and you also have these digital leisure games. Okay, and they're right there. There's about a set of four games right there. Okay. All found right here okay so again there's two sets right here and right there okay if you click on those uh, it turns out that uh, you would get this okay uh, for both set of files actually 15 gigabytes if you click on that uh, you might get this message here you might have insufficient buffers to download all those games it's 15 gigabyte uh, and even then, you have a limit of four, I think four gigabyte per day. So this is not feasible. So it turns out, and I have no affiliation with this website, okay, but the cheapest option 
And there are other paid options out there, and I saw the one for $25 for the whole set. The cheapest option is this. There's no way around that because, again, it's a 15 gigabyte of files you have to download. You're not going to find a site that just provides that for free. Uh, so if you go here to the $6 plan, uh, it's non-recurring. You can make sure that when you sign up that you click on non-recurring. So it's just only as long as you have for one month. You only got to pay for one month, okay? Uh, and then you can go ahead and download the files, okay? Okay. The other thing I also want to show you is this. Uh, this is from the Daphne Emulator Wiki page, okay? It has a great overview. I will be providing a link in uh, my video description. Uh, this tells you all the games that are compatible with the Daphne Emulator. You've got here 18 games altogether. Of those 18 games, uh, only one of them is missing from the download link I just mentioned with you, I just shared with you, and that is Star Blazer. Everything else is there and everything works. Okay, I've tested every single game and they all work. In fact, I'm going to show you a little brief uh, intro into all the games later on. Okay, about a minute, a minute to three minutes long. So you can have a, a little view of what the games represent. Okay, this game right here, Thayer's Quest, also requires this. You know, got to print this out. Because uh, this is the only game that uses a keyboard, and you've got the F, 2, 3, 4, okay? Four function keys, and along with the number, and some letters as well to play the game, okay? So I also will be providing a direct link in my video description, and I will be mentioning this uh, in my video tutorial, okay? All right. So once you download this and this, okay? Then you get these two files, okay? Go ahead and unzip everything. And then you get these files right here, okay? This right here is where the laser disk images are found, okay? And here are where the ROM files are found, okay? These are small files, again, as I mentioned, all right? And then you have, of course, the non-digital leisure games. They're right here as well, all right? So to make this easy for you, Let's go ahead, because we've got to merge these files together, okay? Let's go ahead and create a new folder. We're going to call it Daphne. Okay. We're going to go here. We can delete these right here. We don't need them more. All right. So let's go here first. Let's go here. Select all that. And paste the cut and paste this one right here okay all right let's go over here and let's go over here and go ahead and select all those copy and paste it all right and right here okay all right again so these are all the laser disk images okay now we gotta get the ROMs and paste right here okay let's get the other one all right so all the ROMs are there okay and all the laser disk images are right there right here okay all right also need one more thing from here. Let's uh, go right here. Copy this here, the frame file. Copy that. Actually, cut and paste it. And let's bring it to over here. Okay. Okay. So now we got everything we need. Okay. Now we can go ahead and rename these with Daphne extension. Okay. Galaxy. And we got 
two more to go. Okay, we should have 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so we got all the games there, okay? Now, let's, um, let's go here. Let's just go here. All right, so on each LaserDisc folder where the games are located, you also have a text file. This is the file that tells uh, the emulator what to load, okay? Let's go ahead and click on that. So it's supposed to look like this, dot or period, uh, empty space, and then the command, and then the actual file itself, okay? It tells that it's in the current directory, okay? And there's the file, and here's the file right there, okay? All right. So we don't need to change anything at all. Okay, they have to match them. The name of this text file has to match the name of the folder, okay, without the Daphne extension. All right. There's four files we need to change, okay? Four games. We got uh, Space Ace, Dragon's Lair 1 and 2, and Fair's Quest. So let's go ahead and change those four. Okay, we have here two folders. We have the American version and we have the European version. Uh, you may have to decide ahead of time which version you want, okay? So let's say you want the American, uh, let's say you want the European version. Just go ahead and select that. You can copy and paste it uh, and put it here in the main folder, okay? If you want the, uh, the American version, you do the same thing, okay? All right, let me just go ahead and put it back. Okay, so I want the American version. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select that. Copy and paste it. Okay. So now what we're missing here is the actual text file. Okay. And to that, for that, just go to frame file. And it should be there. So you have two versions here. You got the European version. Right there. And you've got the American version right here. Okay. So you got to make some changes as well. So let's go ahead and just copy both of them. All right, let's go back to Ace. And let's put it right here. All right. So let's go ahead and edit it. Okay, we're, we're going to get rid of all this because it's already there in the, in the same folder. The files are in the same folder. So leave it as period or dot. And then up in space two, and then that. And that's your name of the file. Ace.m2v. All right? Save that. Now, suppose you wanted to use the European version. So what you would do is make sure you delete this one and then rename this one to ace.txt. Okay? And you would do the same thing. Edit it, get rid of all this, leave it just with a dot, and then and then leave this the way it is, okay? And it should work. These things are case sensitive, so make sure that the European has capital. ESA, all right? Let's make sure. And it, uh, no, it doesn't. So you would have to also go back, go back over here. You have to change this to, okay, like that, and get rid of all this like that okay that's how you would do it let's just go ahead and save it all right all right let's go now to the other game layer let's go ahead and get the frame file for layer we got three here let's go ahead copy and paste that and let's go layer right there Let's go ahead and paste that. So here we have three versions. We got the American version, the European version, and we have this limited edition. Okay. Again, you may want to decide ahead of time which one you want. Okay. There's a European version, and there's an American version. Okay. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and choose the American version. Copy and paste it. Put it into the main folder right here. Okay. And since this is layered 
dot Daphne, make sure this is the one I have to change. All right, so let's go in there. All right, okay, delete all that. And everything else is the same. Save. And we're done. Okay. Same thing for the European. If you want to use the European version, just do this. Copy and paste the European version into the main folder. And then delete all this. And then rename it to layer.txt. Okay. Again, just make sure it's renamed to layer.txt. All right. And then there's the limited version. Let's go ahead and go there, delete all this. Again, copy, cut and paste everything into the main folder. And then rename it to layer.txt. OK? All right. Let's move on to layer 2. Different file, layer 2. Cut and paste it. And let's go to layer 2 and paste that there. Select it. And it's got this English second person. We can just go ahead and delete all that. And then File, Save. And then go ahead and go over there and go to the folder, select everything. And we're going to just copy and paste it to the main folder. It's done. Go ahead and delete this one. We don't need no more. And we're good to go. Okay. And the last one, Thayer's Quest, which is TQ. Let's go ahead and copy the frame file or the text file. And go into here, TQ dot Daphne. Paste it. Select the file. And backspace everything. Leave it with dot. A period and then everything else saves the same and then save it and we are good to go so all this is what we're going to copy into Bataceta into the Daphne folder exactly the way it is okay uh, and we don't need to make any more changes it's ready to go all right so I'm going to go ahead and copy this to a portable hard drive and then I'm going to boot up Bataceta and then we can try things out so I'll see you in a little bit all right, so we're back in Batocera. Let's go ahead and press F1 on the keyboard. Uh, and there's my portable drive. I've got uh, games. Uh, okay, so we're going to take all this uh, and copy, copy it to ROMs, and then we're going to go into right here. Okay, we copy everything there. After you copy everything, it should look something like this. Okay, uh, this is created by the system. Okay. Uh, so here's the all the different games all right go ahead close window and let's go ahead and press press start game settings update games list and now we should have that folder there it is okay and there are the games all right so let's go ahead and press the first one Space Ace, Defender of Justice, Truth, and the Planet Earth. All right, so the back of the select button is the coins. The start will start the game. The A and B button, those are the ones usually are your action buttons, okay? There's board ship. Okay, a little bit later on, I'll give you a little brief view of each game, okay? Um, so, first thing we need to do is go ahead and go into the back button, or the select button, and go into advanced system options, okay? So, there's only three different things to do here, right? There's game ratio, uh, video mode, okay? Video mode, we can do that. Game ratio, you may want to keep it like that, 4x3, or you may want to keep it uh, for 16x9, six, okay? kind of like full screen okay we do need to edit something here and that is uh, to exit the game the only way to exit the game is by hitting alt f4 okay but it's not programmed into the gamepad so we have to do it ourselves 
So let's go right here. Hotkey and start. Select that. Uh, let's go into Alt. And since we have two key combination, press Y. Okay, and then the second key combination is F4. And then press A. Okay, and that selects it as Alt F4. You also can mess around with these as well, all right? And let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back. Back, all right. Select the next game here. All right, so let's, let's just go ahead and go through uh, all the games and get a little brief view of what the game consists of, all right? There's more ship. By aliens, that's all. I'll save you, Kimmy. Get me out of here. Wow. You cannot win. Wow. You cannot win.
the ruins. Watch the planes. Which one is it? Engines. Trial.
Got anything on radar? No, sir. It's Jam. Notify headquarters. Sky Blue is under attack. I'm right behind him, Big Daddy. They almost got me, but I outmaneuvered him. We're right over Sector Seven. Okay, so for this game here, Thayer's Quest, you will need a keyboard. 
There's no way around that one. Uh, and in fact, I will be providing a direct link in terms of how the keyboard layout is for this particular game. And you'll see that link in my video description, all right? So let's go ahead and set this one up. So it says press any key to continue. So you press a key on the keyboard, any key be fine. Then press F5 for the coin. And then press your name or type your name. And then press enter, which is the F3 button. Enter. And then you ask you whether you're ready to play. You press one. Yes. So you press, don't have that choice here. press F2, I'm sorry, F3 or F4. By your indecision failure, you have failed. Yet I still believe you show promise. I will start you again if you wish. Act choice, next choice. You just died. You have two choice left. Failure. Choose an exit quickly, or fail this test of magic. All right, F3 or F4? Fire. You have failed there. When it has cost you a life, you have but one life left. Fear. Choose an exit quickly, or fail this test of magic. Cause F3. Congratulations, when you have one bonus point. You are my last hope to find the relics of Quod and renew the magic that grows old as I do. But until you hold the relics, be cautious in your use of magic. It can turn against you. I understand, Druce. I can only give you this pouch, which holds my last three spells. A spell of understanding, of seeing, and a spell of release. Once you use these spells, they are forever gone. Now, choose where in the kingdom of Wygard you wish to begin. The village of Glendo, where once you lived. The haunted waterfalls. Or the Eldritch Forest. F3. You stand healed of what ails. Travel far. Overlook no source of help. Shy. All right, so that's how I play that one game. Again, you're gonna need the keyboard commands for that, and I will be providing the layout in my video description. All right, so that should give you a brief view of what this console is all about. If this is something that you would like, you can go ahead and follow the instructions, and you should be able to play this in no time. Okay, so that is a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time on our channel, you may want to take a look at our playlist that we have on our channel. Uh, the playlists are divided for people who are newcomers. We also have a playlist for all the different emulators that I already have a tutorial for. We also have product reviews. So take a look at our channel. Uh, and if you like what you see, and you might want to consider about the setup for your emulation needs, uh, then please go ahead and subscribe. That would really help me out as well. 
All right, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Bata's Animation. Bye.